Hello everyone, welcome back to Maverick Mods. Today's episode, I keep disassembling the Firebird. Boy, I'm getting tired of taking this thing apart. Time to start putting it back together. It's getting closer. What I'm doing today is pretty much taking all of the sheet metal off of the back of the car that we intend to replace. So uh, the tail panel is off, you'll see that. I uh, get the both quarters off and that Gave me a few challenges. You'll see that uh, along the way. Got the uh, wheelhouses off, the trunk drops off, and might even trial fit a new quarter or two. Stay tuned, should be fun. Well, yesterday I managed to get pretty much all of the tail panel off, sectioned off the rear part of the uh, quarter panels that are going away. Uh, just dropped in the trunk panel just for a, basically check it somewhere and see what it looks like when it's in. And straightened out the, what I guess this is, I called it a valence, but it actually called a cross panel. So uh, only issue I'm running across right now is uh, this little corner right here, which had a little crash damage. I'm not really set up here in the shop to do collision damage. Not really my thing. Um, every car is going to have a little bit to have to deal with, but if it comes to major collision damage, I just don't have the tools for it. However, in the grand scheme of things, this little corner here is actually very minor. Um, most of the panels back here I'm replacing anyway, uh, so I'm not too uh, worried about that. Biggest problem is I've got to be able to create access to the area that I can get uh, my available tools in there to get to and straighten out this uh, lower valence. So that means that this trunk drop off, I'm just gonna have to cut this thing out. Um, it's gonna get replaced anyway. Uh, I know my theory is replace only the good metal. Well, there is no good metal on this. And this is a filler panel here and I have not found one anywhere for replacement. It evidently just does not exist. So I'm gonna wind up using that one, which is intact and is in good shape as a pattern or a mirror pattern, I should say, to replicate this panel, this small panel right here. It will it's spot riveted or spot, why did I say riveted? It's spot welded here. I've got a little bit of a wrinkle here and like I said, although I'm not set up to really repair uh, crash damage here, uh, no reason why I couldn't get the slide hammer out and a big hammer and a slide hammer and straighten that out. We'll get it back in good shape. Uh, also yesterday, pulled off the trunk drop on this side, mainly because I needed to get back here just to get to some of this area so I could peel some parts off. So today, the task is going to be start getting both quarters ready to come off. I'm going to start on the passenger side, what's left of the quarter. Uh, there is probably, I don't know, somewhere in the neighborhood about 3 million rivets. Pretty much all the way down, all the way down here, comes around here, here. Uh, got to figure out how we're uh, secured in here. There's nothing along here, thankfully, but I've got along the roof section and all down the window channel and all along here right up to here and so that's the test today Let's get all of those spot welds broken free then I can work on getting the wheelhouse off then lather rinse repeat for the driver's side
I do have a little bit of a small issue here. <clears throat> the, uh, uh, well, to be kind, the job the previous people did putting that skin on where they welded everything along here. There's going to be a few spot welds here, possibly, from the factory, but the problem is back here I can see burn through. And I can feel some spot welds, so there are some, but I can feel some burn through back here when they welded this on here. So I'm going to have to peel down to this lip, pretty much all the way down, and then start digging back behind here to try and get this part of this panel off because I need to save the inner structure back here. So it'll take a little bit longer. Well, I gotta say, this quarter fought me all the way, put up a good fight. Still not ready to give up, but I win. Now, what kind of carnage do we have here? Not bad. I have to dig a little bit under here to separate that. A little clean up there. A lot of rot up there. Good thing we're replacing this. Okay. Quarters off. Said may have been a little bit ugly, but it was successful. It fought me partially, partially because of what was done to it right here on this edge, but partially just because I tell you what, I got to give these guys credit at the factory. They really like their spot welds, and there was a lot of them, and they were pretty darn good spot welds, some of the biggest ones I have ever seen. So, uh, this quarter's off. Next up, the uh, outer wheelhouse will come off and I can press on to the driver's side. With the quarter gone, last thing to take off from the passenger side is the outer wheelhouse. We're replacing this just because it's got, well, it's, it's been touched. So, rather than beat my brains out trying to pop all of the spot wells loose all along here, I'm going to make a cut right along this edge right here, all the way around, all the way around. And I'm just going to smooth this and radius the inside corner here. As it turns out, my bright idea of leaving the flange from the old outer wheelhouse on the uh, structure there didn't work out quite the way I planned when I started test fitting the uh, new quarters. I just started running into issues. I honestly didn't think that that little extra metal would make a difference. Turns out it did. So uh, disregard everything you're about to see about leaving the, the uh, old flange on. 
in my experience, it has to come off. Back to the action. Only thing I'll have to do, play it a little bit down here just to get it loose from this corner. And I've got some, possibly some previous uh, repair attempts that I'll have to dig my way through. But here we go. Okay, so the majority of the outer wheelhouse is off. See, just to clean up the edge here. Basically, just take that down flush. I'll have my alignment mark here. There should be one up in here somewhere right there. Got another one down here. As soon as I get it right flush here, I've got some cleanup to do here to get the rest of this. This is all part of the structure down here. We'll get that out and ready to test fit the new one. Guys, I've spared you the last oh at least hour of uh, trying to peel what remains of the bottom corner of this wheelhouse which actually fills in here just trying to get this out and the reason it took me so long i hope the camera can pick this up that is not sheet metal that's brass as in brazing not only is that brass there was a triangle piece that was brazed in from here down to here which is not supposed to be there not sure why that was there this is brass that is brass of course this is a whole big chunk of brazing here all of this has to go away all that has to come off because the replacement quarter needs to slide under this lip right here all of this needs to come away. So, moral of the story is, brass and brazing, my opinion only, really shouldn't be on a car. End of lecture. Guys, I've reached a little bit of an impasse on this uh, inner uh, quarter brace here. I've got most of the brazing ground away, cleared away. Uh, had to actually get the torch out to take some of it off. I had to bend the edge of the uh, rocker panel out of the way just to get to some of it. Got most of it, but I reached an impasse on this uh, inner brace here. I need to get underneath here and clean all of this out because the new quarter lip is going to slip under here. So I think my plan is going to be I'm going to come along here and cut straight across here and across here take this piece off clean it up clean both sides up clean up the rocker panel underneath and then weld this piece back in so let's give that a try Okay, with that piece cut away, you can see, hopefully, this right here is the last of that old quarter that needs to come out. I had to get this out in order to be able to get the new quarter in. So once I get that out, I get all this cleaned up and get this piece welded back on. I've got the old outer wheelhouse off edges ground back to the original radius and flush with the inner wheelhouse 
all the way along the seam. And I've got this corner cleaned up and clearanced, hopefully, enough for the new outer wheelhouse to slide in this corner here. And I've got an alignment mark here. I have an alignment mark here, but I can't really see it when the wheelhouse is in. I've got an alignment mark here. So let's see what we can do to align this thing and see if it slides in. Slide it up under, kind of rotate it down. Pretty close there. Go back underneath here. That's not bad. I'm just about on the money over here. And here, I could do one of two things. If I can find it. You can take a punch, come in to your alignment mark. Sometimes that works, and it'll work in this case. But this thing is pretty close. I can maybe just muscle it in. I'll tell you what I can do. I'm gonna get it close, clamp it there. I'm gonna work on this side. See if I can't get this one in. Maybe that'll bring the rear a little bit closer. Now, I am darn close on this side. Maybe a little bit of uh, persuasion. And a little help from the alignment, or from the punch. And this side's there. Still, I think I can muscle this. Let's see what we can do. Okay. All right, as you can see, although I'm off on the outer hole here, I am actually perfectly aligned with the old flange from the old wheelhouse. Of course, you can't see up here, but I'm flush on the support over here. I'm basically right where I need to be with my alignment here. Might be able to go just a little bit closer in, but I'm not mounting the wheelhouse now. This is just testing for fit. And I also next want to test or want to test fit this quarter just to see how everything fits. Okay, let's just see if we can get this new quarter in place. And just see if it'll fit. Gotta go up over the lip there. Line it up here. Okay. Now I've gotta bring it under the wheelhouse. Still where we need to be up here, close. Let's see. Okay, now obviously, again, this is not anywhere close to the final time I'm gonna attempt this. In fact, this quarter will probably come off so many times before it's finally fitted that I'm gonna put a little counter up in the corner just to keep track of it. But sometimes you just have to do this. One, because you always wanna be checking fit every step along the way. And two, it gives you a sense of accomplishment in the middle of performing a complex task. Because if you just start step one and go through step 100 without taking a break, it can get very overwhelming. So 
what this does is kind of gives you something to look forward to without losing your mojo. Rather than you watch me struggle through getting the driver's side quarter and wheelhouse off, I'm just going to hit the highlights. Just do kind of a best of clip uh, or series of clips of me getting the driver's side quarter and wheelhouse trunk drop off. Now in this channel right here, anybody's guess, there's so much rot here, it's gonna be really hard to see where the spot welds are. We'll just do their best we can. somewhere I just can't see them. And frankly, I know this all has to come off eventually anyway, but I really am about half tempted just to cut as much of this quarter away as possible, which would make things actually easier to see. I know I'm going to have to cut this lip just like I did the other side to be able to get to what's uh, boogered up back here. You know, I might just do that. In the pile. Okay, you guys know the drill. Drill, grind, pull, separate, drill, grind, pull, separate, lather, inch, repeat, cuss. I'd like to meet the guy who welded this quarter skin right here. I'd like to shake his hand. I'm not saying what I'd have in my hand, but I'd like to shake his hand. Time to call it a night. We'll get back on this in the morning. This guy is still fighting me. On a normal quarter replacement, you wouldn't usually have to go through this much trouble just to peel away all of the uh, parts of the quarter but in this circumstance I'm dealing with a weld that's not supposed to be there all the way down and it's fighting me right in here so I've got two things I have a weld and I have brazing you can see that down there and well I'm going to win, but it's going to take a little time. Cut loose at the bottom. I've got one more spot weld in here. Ha! I win. I've got to get the trunk drop off out and the outer wheelhouse off on the driver's side here. Easiest way, air hammer.
Now the question is, did I miss a spot weld back here? Let's find out. And does it matter? Not really. There we go. Still got some cleanup to do along here. I suspect I might find some more brass in there somewhere. Obviously, I'll have to adjust it a little bit later, but that is not bad at all. Feels good on the inside. We're good here at the support brace. Not bad. I got a little bit of a notch right there. I'm just going to, where was that? Right there. Okay. Not bad. I'm going to clamp this in place and let's test fit the quarter. Okay, with a little bit of uh, gentle persuasion, driver's side quarter is on and just for trial fitting purposes, let's see if I can get this tail panel in. I'm not holding out a lot of hope right now. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of trimming required. Mainly, probably right around here, these brackets here, I bet you. But let's see how it does. You know, surprisingly enough, let's just stick a bolt through here at the bumper bracket. All right, well, of course, all this is coming right back off, but that's what she'll look like in a couple of weeks after I get everything prepped, cleaned, straightened, massaged and intact in place well there you have it folks new sheet metal is hanging on the car of course it's coming right back off but at least it's hanging on the car so next up uh, we will spend a little bit of time actually a lot of time uh, test fitting adjusting more test fitting more adjusting trying to get everything to line up sure do appreciate you tuning in Please like, share, and subscribe. It certainly would help me out. Thanks for watching. Everybody, have a great day.